This is gonna be amazing. I have so much stuff in my pipeline, it's really hard to put out a video each week, but I try. That's why I decided to make these vlogs to show you what I'm working on at the moment. So this one just started as a test. I wanted to see how I can composite 3D models onto live footage. And it's not as easy as you might think. For example, the model has to be behind the live footage. You can either rotoscope or try to do something fancy and create a luma mat. And after a while, it starts to look quite all right. But this is only a prototype. This small test turned out to become a collaboration with a good friend of mine. He's a great artist when it comes to colors. I will link his Instagram in the description below so you can check him out. Then of course I have the idea for my own shot. I did make a short proof of concept scene where I made a camera path through my virtual set. I think it's possible to get a much more realistic look with it, but I have to improve my own techniques first. And on the same note, I started learning about Houdini. It's a very versatile 3D package. If I can learn to use it, it would be a great addition to my skill set. But at the moment, I'm happy if I can let stuff fall to the ground. <clears throat> uh, we check on that later. And another very cool project I'm working on is my collaboration with WheelUp. This is the shot which I'm working on right now. The talent is running up this railway and suddenly jumps to the side while his teammate starts firing his machine gun. So we need a lot of muzzle flashes, lighting and hopefully some kind of bullet trails. So for that I already tracked the gun and here you can see the first muzzle flashes I put on top. And the next step of course was to lighten the talent that uses the gun. Tedious work, but it has to be done. And last but not least, I have an additional collaboration coming up, this time with a channel called PhotographyTV.com. But I don't want to reveal too much. How the hell do these things function? So I have a lot of work to do and I hope you enjoyed this small summary of it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I see you next time.